knew it was going to come. The end of the line for Sears. And uh, today could be an interesting one. We're going over to Mike Apple with details on what is expected to happen. Hi, Mike. Hey, morning, Melanie. Yes, Sears is expected to be back in the bankruptcy courts today here in Ontario to uh, hear from creditors who are going to push the retailer into liquidation. This is basically the final uh, way that, uh, or final chapter, I guess, in Sears until they actually officially close all of the stores. After earlier this week, they uh, announced that they had la not reached a last-ditch deal to uh, have the executive chair buy some of the uh, uh, assets and keep the brand going. Instead, it's going to be a 10 to 12-week liquidation process uh, through the holiday sales season. Uh, probably start to see some liquidation sales uh, in the next week's time once it is officially signed off of in the Ontario Superior Court today. And, of course, uh, 12,000 jobs and over a hundred locations under the Sears brand and others uh, said to be closed going into 2018. Management shakeup at Samsung. This, of course, is one of the world's biggest technology companies. It rivals uh, Apple when we're talking about, actually, it, it outsells Apple when we're talking about smartphones. Uh, one of the co-CEOs of Samsung has announced his resignation today. This follows an internal uh, scandal within the uh, South Korean company. The uh, heir to the Samsung Group recently was uh, imprisoned for uh, bribery allegations, among other things. Uh, Samsung, though, from an earnings standpoint, is expected to make a record profit of seven and a half billion dollars. So financially, the company is very sound. But uh, now they're looking for uh, some new management at the upper levels of the company, and the shares are down by one and a half percent this morning. Uh, the Toronto stock market's coming off a money-losing day. It was down 58 points, and that was the biggest decline we've actually seen in five weeks. So the TSX has had a pretty good roll here and uh, moving significantly up for the week overall. And we're probably going to see some activity on the energy sector today because the price for oil is up 2% already this morning. It's at a multi-week high, and when we see the price for oil go up, you know what that means. Price of the pumps will probably be going up over the next few days as well. Wall Street did not set records yesterday. We uh, actually had an end to the winning streak for the U.S. benchmarks, just down 31 points in the Dow, but uh, could be heading to the upside again this morning. We'll send it back to the studio.